Dorothea Lang was an influential American documentary photographer and photojournalist, best known for her Depression-era work for the Farms Security Administration. Lang's photographs humanized the consequences of the Great Depression and influenced the development of documentary photography. Early Life, born of second-generation German immigrants on May 26, 1895, at 1041 Bloomfield Street, Hoboken, New Jersey, Dorothea Lang was named Dorothea Margarita Nutzhan at birth. She dropped her middle name and assumed her mother's maiden name after her father abandoned the family when she was 12 years old, one of two traumatic incidents early in her life. The other was her contraction of polio at age seven which left her with a weakened right leg and a permanent limp. It formed me, guided me, instructed me, helped me and humiliated me, Lang once said of her altered gait. I've never gotten over it, and I'm aware of the force and power of it. Career Lang was educated in photography at Columbia University in New York City, in a class taught by Clarence H. White. She was informally apprenticed to several New York photography studios, including that of the famed Arnold Gent. In 1918, she moved to San Francisco, and by the following year she had opened a successful portrait studio. She lived across the bay in Berkeley for the rest of her life. In 1920, she married the noted Western painter Maynard Dixon, with whom she had two sons, Daniel, born in 1925, and John, born in 1930. With the onset of the Great Depression, Lang turned her camera lens from the studio to the street. Her studies of unemployed and homeless people captured the attention of local photographers and led to her employment with the Federal Resettlement Administration, later called the Farm Security Administration. In December 1935, she divorced Dixon and married economist Paul Schuster Taylor, professor of economics at the University of California, Berkeley. Taylor educated Lang in social and political matters, and together they documented rural poverty and the exploitation of sharecroppers and migrant laborers for the next five years. A Euro Taylor interviewing and gathering economic data, Lang taking photos. Resettlement Administration, from 1935 to 1939, Dorothea Lang's work for the RA and FSA brought the plight of the poor and forgotten a Euro, particularly sharecroppers, displaced farm families, and migrant workers a Euro to public attention. Distributed free to newspapers across the country, her poignant images became icons of the era. Lang's best known picture is titled Migrant Mother. The woman in the photo is Florence Owens Thompson. The original photo featured Florence's thumb and index finger on the tent pole, but the image was later retouched to hide Florence's thumb. Her index finger was left untouched. In 1960, Lang spoke about her experience taking the photograph. I saw and approached the hungry and desperate mother, as if drawn by a magnet. I do not remember how I explained my presence or my camera to her, but I do remember she asked me no questions. I made five exposures, working closer and closer from the same direction. I did not ask her name or her history. She told me her age, that she was thirty-two. She said that they had been living on frozen vegetables from the surrounding fields, and birds that the children killed. She had just sold the tires from her car to buy food. There she sat in that lean-to tent with her children huddled around her, and seemed to know that my pictures might help her, and so she helped me. There was a sort of equality about it. After Lang returned home, she told the editor of a San Francisco newspaper about conditions at the camp and provided him with two of her photos. The editor informed federal authorities and published an article that included the photos. As a result, the government rushed aid to the camp to prevent starvation. According to Thompson's son, Lang got some details of this story wrong, but the impact of the picture was based on the image showing the strength and need of migrant workers. Japanese American internment, in 1941, Lang was awarded a Guggenheim Fellowship for Excellence in Photography. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, she gave up the prestigious award to record the forced evacuation of Japanese Americans from the West Coast, on assignment for the War Relocation Authority. She covered the internment of Japanese Americans and their subsequent incarceration, traveling throughout urban and rural California to photograph families preparing to leave, 
visiting several temporary assembly centers as they opened, and eventually highlighting Manzana, the first of the permanent internment camps. Much of her work focused on the waiting and uncertainty involved the removal, piles of luggage waiting to be sorted, families wearing identification tags and waiting for transport. To many observers, her photograph of Japanese-American children pledging allegiance to the flag shortly before they were sent to camp is a haunting reminder of this policy of detaining people without charging them of any crime or affording them any appeal. Her images were so obviously critical that the army impounded most of them, and they were not seen publicly for more than 50 years. Today her photographs of the internment are available in the National Archives on the website of the Still Photographs Division, and at the Bancroft Library of the University of California, Berkeley. California School of Fine Arts, in 1945. Lang was invited by Ansel Adams to accept a position as faculty at the first fine art photography department at the California School of Fine Arts. Imogen Cunningham and Minor White joined as well. In 1952, Lang co-founded the photographic magazine Aperture. Lang and Paul Jones were commissioned in the mid-1950s to shoot a photographic documentary for Life magazine of the death of Monticello. California and of the displacement of its residents by the damming of Poulter Creek to form Lake Berylessa. The magazine did not run the piece, so Lang devoted one whole issue of Aperture to the work. The photo collection was shown at the Art Institute of Chicago in 1960. In the last two decades of her life, Lang's health was poor. She suffered from gastric problems, including bleeding ulcers, as well as post-polio syndrome a euro although this renewal of the pain and weakness of polio was not yet recognized by most physicians. Death and Legacy Lang died of esophageal cancer on October 11, 1965 in San Francisco, California at age 70. She was survived by her second husband, Paul Taylor, two children, three stepchildren, and numerous grandchildren and great-grandchildren. In 1972 the Whitney Museum used 27 of Lang's photographs in an exhibit entitled Executive Order 1966. This exhibit highlighted the Japanese internment during World War II. In 2006, an elementary school was named in her honor in Nipomo, California, near the site where she photographed migrant mother. On May 28, 2008, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and First Lady Maria Shriver announced Lang's induction into the California Hall of Fame, located at the California Museum for History, Women and the Arts. The induction ceremony took place on December 15 and her son accepted the honor in her place. In 2014, American Masters a Euro Dorothea Lang, Grab a Hunk of Lightning premiered August 29 on PBS. Directed and narrated from a uniquely intimate perspective by Lang's granddaughter, Peabody and five-time Emmy Award-winning cinematographer Diana Taylor, the film combines family memories and journals with never-before-seen photos and film footage as well as newly discovered interviews. A companion book, Dorothea Lang, Grab a Hunk of Lightning, by Elizabeth Partridge, was published in 2013 and is the only career-spanning monograph of Lang's work in print. See also. Marion Post Walcott, References. Further reading, Dorothea Lang Color by Neil Scott Petrie ISBN 978-1495477157, Dorothea Lang and Paul Taylor, An American Exodus. A Record of Human Erosion, Facsimile of the Original Edition, Sam Stoddard's A Copyright, Paris, Edition Jean Michel Place, 1999. ISBN 978-2-85893-513-0, Anne Wiston SPIRN, Daring to Look, Dorothea Lang's Photographs and Reports from the Field, University of Chicago Press, 2008, ISBN 978-0-226-31606-2, -0 Sam Stoddard, Dorothea Lang, The Human Face, Paris, NBC Editions, 1998, Jeffrey Dunn, entitled Depression Documentary 1980, Milton Meltzer, Dorothea Lang, A Photographer's Life New York, 1978, ISBN 978-0-8156-0622-2, Linda Gordon, Dorothea Lang, 
Encyclopedia of the Depression, Linda Gordon, Dorothea Lang, A Life Beyond Limits New York, 2009, ISBN 978-0-393-05730-0, Linda Gordon, Paul Schuster Taylor, American National Biography, Gordon, Linda. Okairo, Gary Y., Ed's Impounded, Dorothea Lang and the Censored Images of Japanese American Internment. New York, W. W. Norton and Company. ISBN A 0 393 7 R. Jane McKay and Daniel Dixon, DVD, Maynard Dixon Art and Spirit, External Links, Oakland Museum of California Euro Dorothea Lang, Online Archive of California, Guide to the Lang Collection 1919 A Euro 1965, Dorothea Lang at the Museum of Modern Art, Photo Gallery of Dorothea Lang at the Library of Congress, Dorothea Lang A Euro A Photographer's Journey A Euro Exhibition at Gendal Gallery, 1964 Oral History Interview with Lang, Dorothea Lang Yakima Valley, Washington Collection, Great Depression in Washington State Project, HTTP Lacroche History Org Hush Dorothea Lang PDF, David Joseph Marcos October 2009 Article with End Notes Migrant Mother, Florence Thompson and the Nisei Internees. Dorothea Lang's Documentary Photographs. J. Paul Getty Museum. Retrieved January 22, 2013 A.